Hi YouTube and welcome to update 3 of building of the Airfix RNLI 7 class lifeboat. Um, and as you can see in front of you, quite a lot has happened. Now firstly I should sort of say sorry um, because I have kind of forgotten about YouTube on um, building this um, because there's quite a lot of painting that's been going on. Um, it actually looks like more has happened than has because the sides are just blue tacked on. But inside we are now finished. Um, the reason for that is because I sort of was doing it, I was enjoying it so much I was just like, I will paint this and then I will do the update and I painted that and it was dry, I was like, Oh, I'll just paint this bit and then do the update and it's sort of gone on and on and on and I've sort of accidentally finished it and now I'm forcing myself to do an update because I really should um, so sorry about that but I'm now gonna go through it with you that base keeps sticking on there um, the sides are just blue tacked on um, as those of you who have been following my updates will know that um, I'm not going to have these actually glued on, I'm going to have the superstructure that it can lift off and you will actually be able to see all of this. So starting from the front now then, obviously all of this has been painted as it doesn't tell you to in the instruction book because you will see this when the superstructure comes off. So in the last update um, I think we had this wall, this wall, this bench seat um, and that was about it I think I think that was it um, so now obviously we have the back um, the main control panel is in um, that was actually quite a pain because it sort of had to bend it to get it to go to the right shape because it was sort of from the front if you look at it it's sort of a U shape I guess um, and it's meant to be flat so I'm not sure if I'd bent that or something um, but that was a pain to get that to glue across there because it glues on this piece under here in fact if I take I'm going to bend this down because again it's just blue tacked on so I'm not doing any damage um, so in fact I'll take it off completely shall I um, as you can see on the side here um, these are the seats uh, I'll come back to the seats in a second, but then it just sort of, this one piece comes all the way around here and on the same on the other side, in fact even more, it comes all the way around to here. Um, so it's quite a big piece, um, but it really finishes everything off. Uh, another thing that delayed this update quite a lot was the fact that I am hopeless at painting um, and all the paint kept drying gloss. Um, because I never mix it enough and I'm uh, really should um, but hey got there eventually um, so all of the everything's matte except the handles and the seats because um, in the instructions Airfix um, tells you to do quite a different colour scheme there's sort of all colours all over the place um, and it's completely wrong um, so I've used photos I found off the internet, photos of mine, photos of my dad's and I think I've got it right. Um, so everything in the front here is black with shiny seats that are not actually that shiny but they're shiny-ish. Um, then in the back which is sort of the survivors area everything is sort of a creamy grey colour. Um, and obviously the fire extinguishers have been painted red um, the handles in this back area there there and if I turn it around there are all painted gloss white um, along with ooh, how am I going to get this shot that little box there that my fingers resting on um, it tells you to do the actual box underneath, which I've painted gloss white in a matte red, 
not matte red, a gloss red, the same as the fire extinguishers, which it actually tells you to paint black. Um, but yeah, so I I think it was that when they were brand new. I'm sort of doing this to how they are now. Um, so yeah, that's how I've done it. Um, and that actually matches everything else a lot more. Um, so then obviously all the seats are in. Um, now some of them aren't quite straight. They were quite hard to get sort of sit on the um, little clip things that they slide on uh, over. Um, but they are all on there now. And they're quite nice. Um, they've got them exactly right with the moulding. Um, but one thing that is a bit annoying, I think there's only one seat that I can get this to show you. And no, that's the. Oh no, it is. You can just see a little circle on the back of the seat, which is part of the moulding, which isn't there in real life. Um, which I think is just sort of part of the mould. You get that on almost every single part. Again, you can see if it focuses. Yeah, you can just see one there in front of my finger. Um, they're all over every model. Um, but they're quite a pain because in a lot of places you can't file them off. Um, so then obviously the deck is now painted as well. Um, that is because, and I'll just drop that. That's because the footrests were actually grey, the exactly the same grey. So whilst I had that can open, I went round and painted all the deck and um, obviously I left these because there's two, as you can see with the side of the boat, there's two sort of things that come out here and then there's sort of a passageway thing in the back. In fact I'll just get this one which is the T gauge one from my diorama. There you can see there's two sort of things that come out and the gap in the middle. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Uh, the handles are in, the footrests are in, the seats are in, the control panel's in, everything's in inside, if that makes sense. Um, <laughs> so yeah, there you go guys. Um, sorry I've been away for so long. So what next from here? Well, as ov obviously as you've already seen the sides go on and the back here. Um, then we have these two pieces here that come out. Uh, then obviously there's tops and sides to all of this and make a sort of passageway in the middle here. Um, then obviously we have the roof which is a bit complicated and fiddly to get in. But that basically goes um, like that. Obviously that's like um, obviously that's where that comes down it's inside of there um, but this bit where it sort of lower bit here goes fits in with this slot just above my finger because that is where the water drains out um, if it rains or when there's a huge wave that comes over um, then we have the front so obviously we have this piece now these two pieces are really nicely moulded actually. They've got the front of this boat just right. Um, so obviously that sits on there but doesn't go in but because um, nothing's secure yet it keeps falling in. Um, and then this piece goes on the front like that or more like at that angle. But um, yeah. Um, so basically there's still quite a lot to do, um, especially when you take into account that on top of here, on top of the roof, there's then a big thing that comes up, just like over there. There's all of this area here to build, the crane, all the fencing, so still quite a lot to do, but I think... Um, it should come out quite nicely if we keep going the way we're going. So, um,
Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.